Most of Capture One's essential adjustment tools can be either found in the Exposure Tool tab or in the Color Tool tab. Adjusting white balance, for example, can be done like any other tool by dragging the slider or picking any of the presets in the Mode drop down menu or using the picker to pick on an area in the image. Exposure adjustments can be found in the Exposure tool with the common adjustments like exposure, contrast, brightness, and saturation. The contrast slider does a great job of increasing or decreasing contrast but keeping the colors stable. For more precision or specific contrast adjustments, use the RGB or Luma tab in the Curves tool. The Luma tab is specifically for adjusting contrast and keeps your colors stable. Saturation in Capture One will work by increasing or decreasing the amount of saturation in the image. In the positive direction, colors that are already well saturated will also receive less treatment than those that are not saturated. Levels can be set on an image simply by dragging uh, the shadow and highlight sliders, or simply press A for an auto correction. Highlights and shadows can be recovered with the High Dynamic Range tool. Drag the sliders to the right to recover highlight details and density, and drag the shadow slider to the right to lift the density of the shadows. Clarity is a great way of increasing or decreasing contrast in an image, but it only affects the midtones, so it's great for keeping detail in the shadows and the highlights. There are several different methods of clarity which affect the way clarity works on the image. Structure, also in the Clarity tool, does a slightly different job by improving edge definition, so it's great for architectural subjects, landscapes, anything where you want to improve the level of detail and edge definition in the image. The vignetting tool adds a simple vignette to the edges of the image, either by darkening or lightening, depending on the direction of the slider. There are also different methods to change the shape of the vignette as well. Basic color edits can be found in the color tool tab in the color editor tool. To adjust a color, simply select it from the list and then use any of the sliders to edit. To copy adjustments from one image to others in Capture One, first select the image that you want to copy the adjustments from and the other images that you want to copy the adjustments to. This image I'll refer to as the primary variant as it has the thick white border around the outside. So first of all, to copy the adjustments to the adjustments clipboard, click on the copy adjustments arrow on the toolbar and then simply click on the apply adjustments icon on the toolbar to copy them over. If you want to copy just some of the adjustments over from the primary variant to your other selected images, then the workflow is slightly different. So resetting that last action, and on this image we'll apply a crop. Next, copy the adjustments to the adjustments clipboard. And then looking at the adjustments clipboard, we can scroll down and then remove anything that we don't want to be copied over to the other images. So in this case, I'll deselect crop. And then now when I click apply, everything else is copied across except for the crop. To copy just a single tool adjustment from one image to another is done from the tool itself. So in this case, if we wanted to copy the crop across, from one image to the others. At the top of the tool, there's a similar looking copy apply icon. This will copy and apply the adjustments from that tool from the primary variant to the other images in the selection. Click once and then choose apply. To make that action instant, if you shift click the copy apply button, then it's applied immediately without the need for going into that dialogue. 